or at least on paper. Cleveland had a nice crowd of almost 39,000. Well, watch Brent Pease hit Keith McDonald for a touchdown from 15 yards. Great job of Pease standing in under pressure and making a pass. Quarterback will be paying, uh, coaches will be paying attention to that at the end of this strike. They certainly will, and he got the flags on the play, so they tacked it onto the kickoff. John Dietrich. Yes, he has been perfect. Six for six field goals in two weeks. This 45-yarder was one of two he had today. The Oilers lead the Browns 10-3. Now it's 13-3 in the fourth quarter. Jeff Christensen, quarterback for the Browns, to Larry Mason. We have a ball game, 13-10. Tom, you grew up in Cleveland. Take a look at this sign coming up. What do you feel about this sort of uh, display? I, I just think it's Bush League to, to try to burn a guy like Kosar, who's your hero last week, and now he's a bum. Big part of today's game, the Oilers defense. Look at Derek Field of the Oilers uh, plow Perry Kemp. And the Oiler defense, Jesse Baker with a safety. Tacking on another two points to a 13-10 lead. Makes it 15-10. And as we said before, the Oilers on the road. Jerry Glanville, the man dressed in black. They don't like to see him on the road anymore. The Oilers beat the Browns 15 to 10, two INTs today for Domingo Bryant that gives him three uh, over the uh, over the two weeks of replacement football. And